mine has to be the watermelon festival. I've got to give kudos to Ellen and the chamber, Courtney, um, and um, Jamie Neal for just a, an awesome event. Uh, it's just really cool to go down there and see so many things come together and I know what kind of work goes into to putting something like that on countless hours and lots of headache and they're willing to take it on and put on a, a wonderful event for the whole community. So yeah, great big shout out to them. District 2. Uh, Culver's is framed up now. All the walls up there are on target for opening and they're still looking for employees and um, they're doing training out of uh, Terre Haute, uh, their Terre Haute location. Um, VU classes start Monday the 16th, and speaking of VU, they just introduced a new app last week, Circle In App, where it's a peer-to-peer, -peer, all studying platform to connect anywhere and collaborate with projects. And VU is one of the, uh, the first in the country to implementing a, a, uh, a tool based on neuroscience to encourage collaboration and promote student success. So that's... Uh, uh, that's exciting news that they're a pioneer in doing that. And at this time, there's a group of men that normally, and I'm part of the group we normally meet at a church, do music, worship, and Bible study, but they're at Chicago Park right now. And uh, they're doing the same thing, but they bought, we've bought a few hundred gift cards to restaurants. We're just going to be going out through the neighborhood and park if somebody comes up and just paying it forward and being random acts of kindness and giving those out to people. So it's exciting. That's why I usually bolt out of here on those Mondays to go join them, but I'm excited to be a part of that group and that they're thinking outside the box and helping other people with those gift cards. And it's uh, exciting when I, when I heard that we were going to be doing that. That's all I have. Councilman Stengel. District 3 has been uh, pretty quiet the last few weeks. Even the two project, big projects we got going on in the district uh, really have been kind of stalemated here for a while. A new bank at the 6th and Vigo and, and the um, tearing down the old uh, Knox County Records Library. I haven't been much activity on those, but um, I started uh, doing my morning walk down Main Street. I've taken some pictures and posted on Facebook, got some nice comments from it, but I really have noticed that Main Street probably looked better than it has in a long time. And I'm old enough to remember when Main Street was where you sh did your shopping and you know, you walked down the sidewalk. I couldn't hardly, couldn't hardly walk down the sidewalk without bumping into somebody. It was so busy. But, Main Street's looking great, and the ladies up here that uh, do some of the construction and work on their buildings, and there's no lot of construction on Main Street, and uh, I just think that's wonderful. Also, uh, people looking for jobs are out there. I can't go anywhere without seeing a sign, help on it. Um, and that's a good thing that we have jobs. It's a bad thing we don't have people to fill them. But, you know, just like I was out by Blue's Picture just the other day, I noticed I had a sign for help on it. Um, 13 to uh, 16 to 30 dollars an hour. I guess that depends on what job you get and and, um, and your qualifications. But that's pretty good pay for around here. But mm -hmm. anyway, it's good. Good thing we got all these jobs. I just wish they could get filled. That's yeah. all that. <laughs> Councilman Ravelette, you got a big one today. It's official. <laughs> 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 Texas Roadhouse is officially open. <laughs> and had an opportunity to. Uh, take part in or watch the ribbon cutting ceremony today. Mayor Yoakum cut the ribbon. And very, it's a great facility and I think it's going to be a great addition to the Vincent's economy. So uh, congratulations to Texas Roadhouse and look forward to seeing more out there soon. This report gets all cool stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Councilman Lau. I as well want to give a shout out to everybody that helped with the Watermelon Festival. I thought it was great. I had a, uh, got to spend a Saturday down there talking to everybody that came in and out. I had a lot of out-of-town visitors as well, that, uh, whether they were just right across the river or Princeton or uh, north of town. And uh, it was nice to be able to talk to people and see that type of draw. Uh, at the same time, uh, it's always good to see uh, local Boy Scouts out doing something. And uh, local two or 310 was out uh, emptying trash and keeping things picked up. So I was appreciative of that because, they're, you know, as quick as things get out of control, they were keeping it under control. And boy, those boys walked some miles. Uh, making sure everything was cleaned up. So I really appreciate that. And again, uh, what a wonderful activity. And uh, I think everybody that came downtown had a great opportunity to just have a lot of fun, enjoy themselves in a lot of different ways. So, Councilman McNeese. A couple things. 
Uh, one, go to the order. Thank you, Joe. We have a parks director. That is awesome news for our parks. Uh, awesome news for the maintenance and, and being able to keep up over there. Um, also, shout out to the U10 in Florida, although not the outcome we would have liked. Uh, they represented Knox County well, and Vincennes in particular. Anytime you can put uh, our name on a national stage, it's always kind of good for us. The other thing, for the good of the order, uh, I would encourage people to be good to the order and go get your vaccine. The reason we're in this position we're in right now is because of people not willing to go get the vaccine. Uh, I think Chuck Johnson, our president of Vincent University, gave a pretty impassioned speech to the development corporation the other day, uh, talking in this same manner. Uh, I encourage you, please, please, please. That's it. All right. Um, after tomorrow, all schools in Knox County will be in session. BCSE officially got underway last week, and then North Knox, South Knox, Bay will be in. Uh, and, you know, who thinks that schools is the most exciting thing besides me? But I think it's I think it's great, and to be able to see the smiles and the good faces to be back with their classmates um, and be in those uh, classes with their friends that they've you know kind of missed out on the years, especially when you're in the elementary schools. It's not like middle and high school where they're always they're able to just, you know go over and hang out and parents drop them off. But um, there's a lot of great things that are playing in the BCSC. Uh, a lot of exciting things. I know at every school corporation I've been able to talk with. And everybody's kind of excited on you know some of the things that we missed out before last year as everything was kind of on hold. I you now we know that numbers are a little high, but you know everybody's planning to move forward and have as normal as a school year as possible, and that's the goal. And with the people and everybody working together, um, I know it's going to be a successful goal for us. So school's back, we're excited, and that comes with all the activities, high school sports, after school activities. They're all here, and. Be good for the city of Vincennes and Knox County as a whole. Mayor? Real quick, I want to give a shout out for the Watermelon Festival also. I know Jamie couldn't be here. She's out down watching her son play ball. Mm -hmm. Good for her. But Ellen and Courtney really stepped up and did a great job. Also, Rainbow Beach is closed, and I want to thank Paula and JR for a great season. Uh, could not have done it without them. And we did have our employees swim out there Saturday, and I think a lot of people come out and enjoyed it. And the other thing is, um, when you talk about cleanups, uh, Knox Life, with the Knox County Development and the Knox County and the Indiana Development Corporation, is looking at doing cleanups here in the near future. Uh, I think the first one coming up in September, uh, kind of working off of the Burkhart cleanup. So, uh, look forward to participating in that. Awesome. That's all I've got. Just need a motion to adjourn. Tell me. We are adjourned. Tell me.